Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Reverse Aliens. We are here today in Antrim, Brentinia to seek the Druid's help. Okay, I'm joking. This operation is called Red Druid and it's in the United Kingdom, which I thought the name was quite appropriate. Uh, so, excuse my awful joke, but there we have it. We are in Britain. Um, this is a terror mission and Beta 14 was so nice to us and put us in this, this back corner here. Which I'm not sure if it's a blessing or a curse. And let me explain why I think that. Normally, you, you're placed... Um, p -p -p placed? I can't talk today. You're normally placed right over here. You can see a Sky Ranger is waiting for everyone uh, to get off. Of course, in this case, the Sky Ranger drops us off over here. Actually, more likely, the, the Sky Ranger dropped us off a few blocks that way, flew over here to you know trick the aliens, and then we just trekked through these back alleys and got over here. That's what I mentioned happened. But anyway, um, I've actually just spent the last couple of minutes sitting here trying to study this map because I have no idea what to do. This is so awkward. I have never been to this corner of the map before on a terror mission. And, and the first thing I noticed was actually, was actually this. The normal ver version of this map, the non-terror version, does not have this. You see this? That's a pipe. You see that? That's another pipe. You see this? It's covered on the roof. So what I'm thinking is I could potentially use that. I mean, if this was abduction and, and I was born down here, I'd probably just use this door and breach this room here. But I don't know. I mean, if I can get on this roof here, I can potentially chuck a scanner out there and see what's up. I don't know. Like I said, I'm finding this entire spawn here very, very awkward to deal with. I have never played this map spawning from here before, so the whole thing just, the whole thing just seems surreal. So yeah, I guess that'll be my plan. I'll just move this way, and I guess if I don't trigger anything over here, I can have an engineer move up. If you don't trigger anything on the roof, I can track a scanner into this um, entire alley, um, car park, car park, and go from there. I mean, what can we expect to face? We can probably expect to face chrysalids, um, possibly berserkers, possibly mechtoids, possibly cyberdisks. There's a lot of nasty things we can face. We can even face a few extra nasty things, like maybe a sector commander. I really hope not, but you never know. We've been waiting for those to turn up, and heck, it's September already. I expected them to turn up last month, and they didn't. Um, so, I guess it won't be too surprised if they do turn up. Of course, this is probably the worst possible time for them to turn up, but aliens just don't exactly play by my time, do they? They don't respect my wishes, those nasty little buggers. Um, anyway, um, let's introduce the squad and get moving. Um, I find this really awkward. I find this whole place really strange to be in, so yeah. I mean, the only alternative I could think thought I could think of is actually breaches building. I mean, other breaches building. This is is go just go to this back alley. The only problem with this is I can't remember if there is walls blocking the line of sight of here or not. If there is, this actually might not be a bad idea. Again, the whole thing just feels awkward. I mean, I guess if I get on the roof, I can always just jump down here and I don't know, go from there. It's strange. I have no idea what to do. Um. Anyway, introduce the squad and get moving. So we have Xantha, the officer gunner. Who's finally a major? Uh, we have Omega Field, um, Rocketeer, Rahi, the uh, Shogun Mech, Zhang, the uh, Gunnery Sergeant, um, Assault, who is Sprinter, it's brilliant, uh, Tongfa, the Medic, Barry Rang, the Infantry, Necromire, the um, Scout, no, Sniper, Sniper, and Uzkard Engineer. I don't know why, I'm, why I thought Scout for a minute there. That was kind of strange. Now, since I have no scout, what I'll probably do is use someone, let's say the medic. Oh, the medic's important. Uh, so's infantry. So's a sniper. So's engineer. So's Xantha. <laughs> Everyone's important now. Yeah, the nice thing about having a scout is that you don't mind if they don't do anything, I guess. Okay, let's use Zhang. And let's just start moving towards this alleyway. Okay, no, but nothing. And we'll move everyone along. Um, Uzkart can move up too. Okay. Necromire can move... Aye, aye. It's funny Necromire can actually move fast, uh, further than Brarang can. Brarang's not particularly you know, known for his speed. Yeah, but heck, he's faster than Gary Ninja and I'm happy about that. Because Gary Ninja is... Probably the, I don't know, epitome of speed. I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure if I'm even using the right word there. Hmm, 
possibly should have struck a sky this turn over the roof into a into the um car park. Oh well. Let's see what happens. Okay, Mectoids. More Mectoids. Door breaking open. Chrysalids. Dead civilians. Chrysalids, likely to my left. I heard a door breaking open. Okay, let's see if we can find out which door broke open. If that's even possible. Um, I mean, I can see these doors right next to me, but they all look closed. This looks closed. Um, there should be a door over here, I imagine. Can't see. There should be a door over here, which I can't see. Um, I think it's, okay, so I just these doors or that door back there. Is there any way I can find out? Not really. It's too dark. It's too dark in here. Can't see anything. Okay, um, let's continue with this crazy plan of trying to get to a roof. Hmm. What are the chances of there being enemies on the roof? And if there are, what can I do about it? Not much. Well, I think the answer to that is unlikely and not much. Let's do it. No need to ask twice. Holding my breath. Okay, good. That's full cover. Well, we look at that. What is that? Shop paper ink. That sign provides full cover. What do you know? That's actually quite interesting. We could potentially use this as a nice power base. And I, I believe I have smoke grenades to back me up. So let's check a scanner all the way out here into a car park and see what we're dealing with. Eyes in the sky. Seekers. Um, what else are we dealing with here? Okay, we have Seeker, 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 and a pot of crystals next to them. So, I see pods of three, which suggests to me there will be maybe five pods of three, maybe six pods of three, something like that. Now, one thing to notice is that Rahi can't actually get onto a roof, which means Rahi will have to stay on the ground, and I'll be very careful because staying on the ground means I could potentially peek into his windows and reveal what's inside the building, and that's not necessarily a good thing. Of course, I. I'm a fool and block myself. Oh well. Let's move people up. Necromire. Um, I would like to be as ready as possible at all times. Yes, if possible. If that's even a possibility. Yes, Commander. Unfortunately, I don't think that's always a possibility. So be it. And then they can move up to here. I also want to eliminate my line of sight into his back alley if possible. Just so I don't actually trigger something in here. Because that could be bad. I think then they can probably run up. Which means Necromar can probably run up here. And Brarang may as well run up as well. I possibly should put Brarang over here just in case I had to open the door. Oh well. Too late. Something to my left. Sound like chrysalids. Seekers barging in. How rude. Mectoids out there. I'm expecting pods of three, so at least each individual pod isn't too scary by themselves. Chrysalids. Hmm. What is that? That's a zombie. Interesting. Now I really need uh, most of these villains to not die for me. It's kind of important. Now, what can I do here? What I'm thinking I could potentially do is actually use Ooze card and drop a drop the bomb, literally, um, on these crystal and seekers. They'll trigger them, and then I can. Christian, what's in this room? What is in this room? Um, okay. Okay, let's first, first of all, let's check. Where can we even chuck a grenade? 
trying to get a bomb, try grenade literally down there is kind of awkward. But let's move here. No reveals. And we could literally chuck a bomb right down here. It'd probably kill all the seekers and wound all the chrysalids. And we can go from there. I'm very tempted to do that. Let's do it. Um, something like. Oh, come on, give me a perfect grenade here. Like, something like that. Uh, yeah, that. Okay, what do we have? What do we have? Are oh, you little? Okay, the two crystals ran inside. And we have two seeker survivors. That's a huge seeker. That seeker landed. Okay, important things. He needs to die. Um, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. I can just... Let's say... Damn it, give me a, give me a grid back. Should be able to move, let's say, here. And kill you. The problem is the seekers, the uh, two crystals which went inside, they could potentially come off the roof and and get a jump on ooze card. That could be pretty bad. Also need to kill that seeker. So I think let's let's move you here. You'll both be scouting for me and you will be able to shoot a seeker, I believe. Good. And you can shoot the slow guy for me. Heat ammo is a beautiful thing. 19 critical! <laughs> that is brilliant, not in critical. Now, question is, where are those chrysalids? I know they went inside here. Uh, if I don't kill them now, they're just going to kill more civilians. I have, I have a feeling I'm forced to actually open this door, but I really don't want to. I'm forced to, but I don't want to. At the same time, who can you see? Just a chrysalid. That's actually quite interesting. So who is it can see a seeker? I think it's a bow scanner who can see a seeker. And we're about to put. I don't think Jan needs any cover, so let's put you here. On the move. Shoot once. Okay, good. Um, Zenta can also move up. Damn it! Why is this blue? Why does it keep going away? That's annoying. Aye, aye. The moment I push down the right button, the blue grid goes away. It's incredibly. Frustrating. Okay, hopefully you can see a seeker. Yep, please finish it off. So now we left two, two chrysalids, and we're left with. Okay, so what I'm thinking here is potentially the infantry can move up and Overwatch um, for incoming chrysalids if they drop onto a roof. Ah, this is annoying. I know the chrysalids inside here somewhere, but I can't do anything about them. I'm afraid of opening this door in case I trigger something else. I'm simply not ready to deal with them right now. You know what? Um, I think what I'll do is... Um, this is... Okay, screw it. You? Damn it, give me my blue. There we go. Good. Um, Omega Field. You need to get up as well. And lastly... Tongfa needs to get up. And what I'll probably do is overwatch everyone over here. And the next turn I can chuck a bow scanner. Depending on how safe it is, I'll drop down and wreck some havoc. Could these chrysalis... I imagine Tim just put a Tong, uh, Omega Field here. He, he can fire a rocket to his building. Yeah? Yeah? I don't think those chrysalis have enough movement to get to, get to uh, Omega Field anyway. Thank you. Now let's see what happens. Chances are they're gonna go kill, kill the crit the civilian, which I don't like. Yep, like that. Why are you showing me the truck? Zombie, cool. And can you possibly tell me where the second crystal it is? It's kind of important. Second crystal it. Why is it me a truck again? 
Okay, not only where Second Crystal is. Whatever he did, he is not inside the building. I'm gonna open this door. They're not inside here. I know one of the crystals were, were inside over here. I can chuck a scanner out there now. So let's say I can move you here. And the good thing about mech toys is that if, I know they're probably not up here on the roof with me, which means if I stay on the roof, they can't they can't actually get up to me. So, which means I can stay in the open while on the roof. Yep, definitely confirmed, they're not on the roof of me. Hey, there's a villain up here too. How nice. How quaint. Okay, that, that's full cover, so I gotta watch out. I don't want to block my own uh, bow scanner. I'm thinking I'll check a scanner down here. Should reveal a lot to me. I hope. So there should be a window, there should be a door, window, right over here. Okay, it didn't actually reveal as much as I wanted it to. Let's see, what can I see from this? There is some. I think they're both inside there. I think I can seize them. The question is, how am I, how am I gonna actually seize them? And hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Okay, Rahi, can you move up? This car park seems to be mostly clear. I can see one of the chrysalids. I can see one of them. What is that next to you? Can I possibly get a rocket on them? Yes, I can. I'm tempted to do that. Okay, I don't know what was next to a chrysalid, but... Hey, I just rocketed a lone chrysalid. Why not? Because I can. Um, I can actually probably finish them off with collateral damage if I really wanted to. Actually, no, collateral damage probably won't do enough damage. <laughs> Just a bit of a shame. Um, and if I jumped off the roof here, okay, there's a pipe over here I can use to get back up if I really want to. Um, and we still have a missing chrysalid somewhere. I'm pretty sure there were two chrysalids, and one of them really just disappeared. And that's dangerous. A disappearing chrysalid means he could be anywhere, he could be in the back alley even, ready to jump up at me. Omega Fear could be in potential danger. Um, okay, let's find a way to shoot this little guy. Let me move you here. Will do. Good hit. Out of ammo here. And, hmm, interesting. So that actually triggered close encounters. I didn't expect it to because that's what? Um, one, two. It's kind of weird. Close account doesn't seem to work when I expect to, and works when I don't expect to do as well. Strange. I don't mind a free reload, but yeah, strange. Tongfa. You can't see. Um, which means I think Necromite will have to jump down if I want to kill a zombie. And I probably do want to kill a zombie. Um, because I want you to shoot the chrysalid. Thank you. Um, Barak can just stay up on the roof and overwatch. Tongfa can probably overwatch on the roof, which means Necromire, can you jump down please? Let's say, uh... Where can you get back on the roof from? Here. That's a shame. And if you had a normal sniper rifle of snapshot, I'll just put you here, but I can't. So instead, let's put you down here. There now. It's a bit of a shame. But what am I going to do about it, you know? Good. We have still a missing chrysalid. I really have to watch out. I am a little bit terrified where he is, or where he could be. Okay, where can you go? You can go here. I have absolutely no clue where he is. Oh boy, here he is. Hi. Was that a dash? Or was it... Oh, well, Rahi can probably take a hit, but still. <laughs> Sneaky little guy. Oh, that was a dash. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, do I have more bow scanners? I don't have more bow scanners, do I? Nope. Um, that's alright. I think what I'll probably do is have Zhang jump down and kill him for me. 
But the question is, where uh, could those mech toys be? There has to be at least two mech toys, I'm pretty sure. So, so uh, Zhang, jump down and do your business. Hit and who can I use to finish you off? Probably someone who doesn't need to reload. Dentha, maybe. I want Dentha to stay up here though. Maybe uh, Uzcard can stay up here and chuck grenades, so maybe not Uzcard. Um, maybe Omega Field? Yeah. How can I see him though? Maybe from here? From here, maybe? From here? I... I don't know, I don't think the angle's good enough for him to get a good shot off here. I think Omega Field needs to get on the roof. So someone has to kill him. That's 84%. What I might do is actually um, reload with Necromire and, sh and then shoot him. I don't know, I kind of go in the nice confirmed kill, if possible. Um, you know what, Uzcard? Ah no, that's a that's an awkward route. Screw it. Xantha. Could you you take the shot. You can kill him. Solid copy. I mean I prefer her on the roof, but whatever. Wow, minimum damage too. <laughs> ah well. Can't have what well, you want every single time. That was potentially dangerous because I revealed my right here. Now what if I do this turn, I don't want to reveal more stuff. Because now I'm Xanthus standing in the open. So, let's spend a turn just reloading. And moving up to uh, potential party positions. Like Omega Field can run up to here. Uzkar can run up to there. Rare Rank can run up to here. Let's see what happens. Has two pots down. Crystal's behind us. Oh, aren't they smart? It's people dying off in the distance. Lovely sound. Always love hearing that. Zhang. You're in the wrong place at the wrong time, buddy. That could be good. I have no qualms about wasting grenades against chrysalids. And it's, I can't get very good firepower off against them, so I might actually do it. Who's the biggest chrysalid? Who's the mother of all chrysalids here? Or, bear question, where's my flamethrower range? Okay, so that tower should be safe. Or not. Okay, no, that, that works, that works. That just barely works. Okay, but thing is, so the moment I spray throw them, half of them probably panic, and once they panic, they're gonna scatter. And I don't want that. So let's start with a grenade here. Okay, it's not a great grenade, but it'll do. Followed by some nice, nice barbecue action. That was pretty pathetic. No one panicked as well. Okay, please die. And um, these, these guys are still pretty high health, so you can die as well. I'm giving you permission to die. There. I know, you are just waiting for my permission, weren't you? Uh, Zenta can probably kill another one, and then just leaves Necromite to kill another one. So... Go ahead, Necromire. Overkill? Probably. He's dead. It just lets me keep my troops in high ground. Which is nice. It's always nice. And she can go to Overwatch. Right. Good. Good. Um, Rare Rain, you're going to lose your cover any second now. But I don't, I don't want to move you up this turn. That's alright. Two mech toy pods left. That's three pods down. And here's one mech toy pod. Hi guys. 
How you doing? Ooh, advanced fire control, huh? Bit disappointing. Hmm. Okay, who can even see you? I can see you. You have advanced fire control, platform stability. Eh, it's not that scary. I mean, you're not a joke, but you're not that scary either. I'm sorry to disappoint you, um, Mr. Mectoid, but you're not that scary. And I'll show you why. Good hit. Let's follow that up. Um, now, where's the sniper? Sniper? You can't see, huh? Probably because this car's in the way. We'll have a movie here. Heading out. You can't see. Well, what do you know? Let's disable him. Now, the only problem is, there's still an, another mechtoid out there. So I know I can see him from this line here, and this is counted, let's be sure. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 is here. So I'm thinking, let's move you up to here. Can we... Oh, I don't have hollow targeting, do I? Shoot you anyway. Good hit. Now, I'm thinking I want to move some people over. Oh, there's... All these walls are burning down. The world is burning down around me. How unfortunate. Who threw that grenade? Arrest that man. Arrest him. Um, let's move you here. Which lets me use this cover here. It's not really using cover, is it? I wouldn't even call that cover. I would that is so not cover. I blew up every single piece of cover that can blow up around here. That means we have two sectoids out there. I see one of them. Or more specifically, Uzka sees one of them. Take a shot. Oh well. It's a hit. I'll give you that. Now this car looks like it's about to go on, uh, blow up, so I'm not going to use it. And there is still a missing mechtoid out there. So i got to watch out. He is disabled. That's the plus. It's a positive. Maybe what I can do here is actually move here. What I'm thinking is move here. I can see both of them. And what I can do is actually send an overwatch. And I can covering fire this little guy over here. Am I crazy? Probably. So let's actually make me look slightly less crazy by doing this. Besides, Brarang is not actually unfamiliar with getting flanked. So let's remove the flank punts, make him stand in the open this time. Okay, that was probably a terrible joke. Okay. Um, Zentha. Okay. Take was a civilian. Whoops, I should have saved him. Hey, going somewhere? Ratarang says? No. Hey, Sectoid, what you doing? <laughs> X -ray neutralized. That's how you get two shots out of one. Okay, let's move up. Um, you can lead the charge, um, Rahi. Who do you see? You see a Sectoid. See Sectoid? Shoot Sectoid. And I'm I think there's only one part left on the map. I think. Sometimes I shouldn't think. But in this case, I'm thinking. Shang, just move up. Zentha, move up to this. I'm worried if you move up here, you won't be able to step up to a left because it's different elevation. Um, oh well, worst case, you can always move. Mega Field has this is his only cover choice. Because somebody keeps blowing up all the cover. Heading to that location. 
Now I'm curious, where would where's last pod? Hmm, I can actually go rescue this guy next turn. He said Wolf is a metroid pod in the back alley. <laughs> that could be rather unfortunate. be very unfortunate in fact. Um, I thought there was a pipe over here. Oh the pipe's all the way over here. Never mind, never mind. I'm, I'm being a fool. We're green to go. And Okay, movement on my right? I have still no idea where that mech toy pod is. It's a shame. Let's keep moving through here. I mean, the only place we haven't been in this map is really this corner and this building. Let's move in here. No reveals, no reveals. Okay, um, I wish we can get an idea where the mechtoid is, but I can't. And if this was a scout, I would happily move you down here to save a civilian, but you're not a scout. Maybe I can move you here. Maybe I can move you here. Let's move it here. No need to ask twice. Okay. Maybe that'll save a civilian because I can kind of see him, but not quite. Uh, who knows? Who cares? Who cares? I am moving. Rolling out. Zone. I'm covering that area. Lock and load. Necromite. Just keep moving up. Omega field. Just stay in the open. They're that way. Okay, that's good to know. They're ahead of us. Useful information is good. They can move on. Um, how do we want to do this? We have a sniper close enough who can possibly get a sable shot off. I uh, say possibly. I have a feeling they're actually in the back alley here. Let's move you into a building. Hello. A drone, a sectoid. Ooh, there's someone else over there. I think the sectoid. And he's on Overwatch. Well, the drone's probably dead, but we have a mechtoid out there. Well, I can't really do much about. Uh, the only good news is I can. Uh, the mechtoid could potentially come out here, can't he? And he'll ruin my day if he does. Okay, that was safe. I like it when it's safe. Screw that door. And I'm thinking. Braran can move over here, maybe? Over here and Overwatch? Not the best plan, but. You know, what else am I gonna do at this point? Now, what I am afraid of is that Mechtoid getting smart. If the Mechtoid gets smart, what he could really do is go over here and potentially shoot Braran in the side. So maybe to counter that, what I can do is chuck a smoke grenade. I mean, th I think this is the last part of enemies on the map. I think five pods is quite. Five pods of three to four is quite normal. I think. Again, I think I'm overthinking. And I said I think again. <laughs> I just stopped thinking so much. Just get in there. You can stay your rocket over here, Omega Field. And just leave Uzcard, who can go rescue a civilian and possibly hide somewhere. Rolling. Now, I'll be very upset if that Mechtoid decides to one shot someone in full cover. So you can see the drone, but I think Rahi, that's what Rahi's job is. Good. 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 Um, and I guess you may as well run over here. Um, steady your rocket. You don't really have much to do. You can attract some firepower, I guess. I did talk about him getting smart. What do you know? He did get smart. Brarang! Brarang! Oh man. You just came out of hospital and now you're right, going right back into it. I was joking about him. Um, oh man, he's gonna go right back into hospital for another 30 or something days. 
That sucks. And it's my fault. I sure I knew that position was flankable. I knew it. I knew it, you little bastard. I guess it's a good thing I track smoker now on him. Um let's heal Brarang up a little bit. And yes, I'm standing in the open. And I don't even care. <laughs> ah, Brarang. Next time I see a flank coming, I should just avoid a flank altogether. That would be smart. Now, what do you think? What do you think you're doing? You weren't planning to flank me, were you? And where's the last guy? I think it's a sectoid. Moving. I'm pretty sure it's a sectoid. To kick a door. Yeah. I will admit that was silly and I saw it coming. Should just play it safe. Oh, hey, Sectoid. Going somewhere? What, what are these, all these minimum damage hits? Okay, you're flanked. You're running. Translation. Do. You're dead? Where did you go? Where did you go? Um. Estoy en okay, um. Where could you even have gone? It must be in here somewhere. That I can't see, like here maybe? This is the edge of the map. You have to be in this alley somewhere. Acknowledged. There you are. Commander, the operation was a success. So, that was an almost perfect terror mission as far as, um, as far as killing aliens goes, but um, I almost ruined it by, I don't know, trying to take advantage of my infantry too much. Ah, oh, Brad Rang. Thirty two days. Damn it. <laughs> you just came out of hospital from like forty something days and now you're right back into it for thirty two days. Okay, did he? <gasps> What's this rank? Okay, I'm gonna leave this for now. I'm tempted to take combat drugs. I'll say it right now. But for I'll leave it for now. Uh, Omega Field? Ranger? You're only a sergeant too. Uh, Rahi? Hmm. Damage control? Uh, okay, like, Ranger's not bad. Plus one damage is nothing to scoff at, and you've seen me take Ranger on uh, um, Rocketeer, Snipers, and Infantry so far. But. Yeah, I'll, I'll get back to that. Um, Packmaster is also not bad, it gives me more flamethrower charges, but I don't really take a shogun. Like, I take a shogun mostly for his heat ammo, so Packmaster doesn't really benefit from me there. Uh, lastly, damage control, and the thing about damage control is that um, I expect my mechs to get shot at, I expect my mechs to be in tanks for me, so damage control helps the tanking part. Like, you can see I've retaken really three pa tanking perks, uh, body shield, shock with open armor, Damage, so, well, two, should I say. So, you know, damage control continues that theme. And, whoops, I forgot to turn off Steam again. Uh, anyway, so, this kind of continues the theme of why I take a mech, especially a mech who has to stay within visual range, where, as opposed to, let's say, a squad side mech. So, I like Ranger. I mean, combo's nice with heat ammo and whatnot. Um, Packmaster's just kind of out of place here for my, the way I use my shogun, so I think damage control is really the only way I can possibly go here. It's kind of a toss up here, but I prefer damage control. Tanking helps. And yeah, Tongfa, I'll get back to you. Not bad, not bad, not bad. And that's two more Mechtoid Corps. Uh, Corps, not Corps. We will be in touch, Sorry, Corps and Corps, same thing. I, in fact, if I had the money, which I don't, I could totally start this. 
It's only a hundred eighty dollars. It's only a hundred eighty dollars. Something like that. But I need an alien rifle, so I'm not going to do that. Um, hundred eighty dollars for faster max. Like it might not seem like much, but I say it's massive. It's so important. I can possibly sell a hundred weapon fragments. I thought that'd be a hundred, and then I can sell some other stuff to get eighty dollars. Um, in fact, I can sell some of my captives here. I got too many captives now. I don't need this many captives. It's a little ludicrous how many captives I have. Um, so I can totally track some of them out. Ah, uh, well, let's keep waiting. How's Britain looking? Mm, barely hang on. Let's keep going. No. This is the third landing UFO on Japan. No, I don't want you here. That said, this is the first land UFO that didn't land in Korea. I always find it funny how all my Japanese landing has been in Korea so far. This one's in the middle of nowhere. I don't want to do this. Um, Death Run will be back in four days. Yeah, I'm gonna have to take a, a 1.5 team here. Well, actually, no, I got a lot of good, I got lots of good troops here. I can take a pretty decent tr uh, team here. And what a chance of having two trap UFOs in a row, right? So you know what? Let me set this up, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so this will be a squad be taking. It's so so unfortunate that Driskin got injured, got um gravely injured on that on the Bowser mission on um for slingshots. What's it called again? Gangplank. Because I'm actually using Driskin so much these days. He's gonna be like my highest level medic soon, or one of the highest level medics. I don't know. I've been taking him so many missions. It's just sad. It's so sad. Um, other than that, um, I'm taking pretty normal team here. I think it's identical to every single other team I'll be taking for um, for land and mediums or land UFOs in general or most missions in general for that matter. And until you see me getting some um, higher level um, ranking marauders, the price not going to change much. I'm taking a, a Mystic on here because that's the only mech available and I'm definitely going on these missions with a mech because they make so much difference. Um, Chiros, Neobin, yes, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty decent team. All pretty high ranking, the lowest ranking being sergeant. Uh, with quite a few tech sergeants here. I think, yeah, half a team of tech sergeants. Now, before we can go anywhere, Mysticon, you need a helmet. Now, what helmet do I think will shoot Mysticon? You took a nasty hit before, and it was a small crash UFO. You stared death in the face. You were on one health. I think that is fitting for you. You stared death in the face, so now you paint a, a skull on your on your helmet. That's fitting for you, Misty Con. And I salute you for it. Um, I think that's all I can say about the squad. There really isn't that much to it. I got one flashbang, got two camp grenades. I could actually bring more, but I don't have the item slots for it anymore. It's a bit of a shame. Let's get out there. indicate the UFO is set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. Twisted 4. And apparently this is what an island in the middle of the Pacific should look like. Okay? Just remember it. This is what an island in the middle, middle of the uh, Pacific. Look at that. Tropical, uh, tropical uh, mountains. Must be volcanic as well. Of snow capped. Very realistic. Very, very realistic. HQ, this is Big Sky. We are in position and awaiting further orders. Roger that, Big Sky. Strike one, you are green to deploy. Approach with the 
extreme caution. Current enemy status at the site is unknown. Well, as you can probably um, figure out, I'm terrified for this mission. But luckily for me, and possibly for you, I'm not doing this right, right just yet. This will be for next time. So until then, see ya.